Welcome to my unboxing of a product that I'm actually very excited about. Few things sort of excite me about power supplies. However, there are pretty much all of those things included with this particular unit. This is the High Current Pro Platinum Power Supply from Antec. And why don't I just do a quick bullet, li bullet point list of all of the things that like really excite me about this packaging, or packaging, this product. Number one is the packaging. I love awesome packaging. I unbox a lot of stuff, and this is very shiny. <laughs> love it. Number two is the, don't worry, you won't get caught in there, it's okay. Number two is the seven-year Antec warranty. Antec has never done a seven-year warranty before, but they're pulling out all the stops on this one. They're basically saying, this will not fail. And that is also very exciting to me. Number three thing that is very exciting to me is that Antec has done a lot of work to improve their aesthetics, and I'm a big aesthetic guy when it comes to power supplies, without compromising on any of the safety features that they believe are so important to have in their products. And I don't say they believe because I don't also believe so, but uh, I think you guys catch where I'm going with this. So check this out. Ugly 24 pin power connectors are a definite pet peeve of mine and Antec has found a way around it that if I could ever find the 24 pin power connector in here, aha, that they believe will help. So check this out. Normally, an Antec power supply will look like a big old mess of brightly colored wires, but they've found a compromise. So for safety reasons, Antec believes that they should continue having colors, color codes on the wires. And I actually don't disagree with them. It reduces the chance of anything being miswired at a factory. It reduces the chance of accidentally miswiring something yourself if you're sleeving your power supply or whatever else you want to do. And yeah, I mean, that right there, it reduces the chance of errors. So what they've done is they've put stripes of the appropriate colors on the appropriate cables. You see that? So there's a stripe. So what that means is that when you install this in your system, all of a sudden it looks far more stealthy compared to the brightly colored cables that we've seen before in the past. So we see the same thing. There you go. Half and half on the CPU power connector. And look at this. Nice touch. They've even oriented it so that in most motherboards, when it comes over this way, most of the colored wires will be hidden because they're on the inside, even if it goes this way. Very nice. Nice touch, Antec. Good that you guys thought of that. Okay, so that was my quick bullet point, but I guess we'll have to like kind of back up here and uh, and start doing the actual proper proper unboxing. So here, there we go. Ahem. Back to the outside of the box. So yes, beautiful box. 94% max efficiency means that compared to a non 80 plus power supply, you could see up to 25% savings. Although if we're talking compared to like an 80 plus gold power supply, it's a much smaller number, just so you guys are aware. Antec power supplies are all rated for continuous power. That means you could literally run it at a thousand watts day in, day out for seven years and Antec says it will not fail. Full cable management. Yes, this is a fully modular power supply, which is a first for Antec as well. Over here, they actually calculate compared to a non 80 plus, compared to an 80 plus, compared to a high efficiency 80 plus, how much money can actually be saved on a yearly basis in dollars as well as in euros compared to blah, blah, blah. So they have a formula here. So you can actually check that out. Here, I'll, I'll hold it still so you guys can see it really well and uh, do the math for yourself. See how much an efficient power supply could save for you. Okay, continuous power, guaranteed 1,000 watts, 80 plus platinum, up to 94% efficient, save money, power and money. Uh, 16 pin socket, yeah, we'll talk more about that later. The 28 pin motherboard socket, 135 millimeter fan, high current rails, 100%, 12 volt, okay, yep, yep, multi PCIe, six PCIe circuit shield. You know what, we'll cover all this later. Uh, oh yeah, this, this little chart. Some guys like to see that, so yes, 12, uh, four 12 volt rails, all of them rated for a maximum of 40 amps. So what that means is that Antec is combining the best of both worlds by including all of the appropriate safety protections, and I mean all of them. Antec is big into certifications as well as doing things by the book when it comes to power supplies. And I say this because I actually believe it. They really do. They never skip out on something. Um, so they combine that with, so the safety of multiple rails with the appropriate protections with the convenience of having high 
current rails, which means you can kind of hook things up willy-nilly, and you are very, very unlikely, unless you some, I mean, you, you pretty, yeah, you pretty much couldn't trip the overcurrent protection on a given rail by hooking it up to a normal PC system. If you hook it up to some kind of load tester or something, that's a different story, and that's kind of, uh, yeah, that's kind of on your own sort of hands if something goes wrong at that point in time. So included accessories. We've got an included power cable, which is a beefy power cable. We have a little product overview sheet that comes with it. Okay, we've got a bunch of modular cables, but we'll get into those more later. We've got, ha ha, they've included black screws. Nice touch, as well as a couple little Antec cable management cords. Uh, cord, I shouldn't say cords, I should say uh, cable management uh, ties. Okay, just a sec, let me just see if I missed it. Oh, yeah, no, let's start looking at the power supply unit itself. So on the back we find sort of the industry standard honeycomb mesh. You guys won't be able to see this, but if you look inside the power supply, they've actually completely eliminated wires from their design. So everything inside this power supply is using solid links. That means there's less soldering to be done, so once again, there's less room for inefficiency and less... <coughs> ah, sorry guys, Slick is sick. And less room for any kind of an error during the manufacturing process. So that is... So there, you can actually see a couple of the big solid links back there. Very cool. So that's a ground. I can actually see the label on it. Can you see that okay? It's that silver one that's kind of like there. Okay. Okay, as long as you guys can see it. So we've got a 135 millimeter... Uh, Double ball bearing fan, so that's going to provide quiet cooling. I already mentioned the honeycomb on off switch. Okay, on the side. Haha, Antec has figured out aesthetics. That looks sharp. That looks really good. We are not looking at like racing stripe power supply thing going on. No, we have a very, very clean looking side with just a bright, one bright yellow accent, I don't mind, as long as we don't have a bunch of bright yellow accents and the whole thing looks like a bumblebee. No, this looks really, really good. Very sharp looking power supply. Okay, we've got one label on here which actually outlines a bunch of the uh, bunch of the safety stuff as well as giving you the general specs of the power supply. Now let's get into the fully modular interface. So the fully modular interface has a number of things about it that are actually very interesting. Let's start with the motherboard connection. So the motherboard connection goes a little something like this. One here. So that's your traditional 20 pin. Right there. Then we have an additional one of these. Now, why would we have that, you might ask? And the answer is because Antec is anticipating the possibility that there could be some kind of a motherboard socket change, and they want to make sure that their motherboard connector will be compatible with it. So they have built in the flexibility and the capacity to change the motherboard connector to something that is higher than 24 pins. Very cool. So that modular connector is something you'd probably have to purchase, but at least it would be available without upgrading your expensive 80 plus platinum power supply if you wanted to upgrade some of your other components. What else we got going on here? The next thing we have is, here we go, I actually want to find, oh this is kind of neat. Okay, so PCI Express connectors, here we go. Antec has built in with their modular system 16, 16 pin uh, modular connector. So we've got two 6 plus 2's that run off an individual brick of these, or, check this out guys, we can also run individual ones with these low profile individual banks of 8 pin connectors with these low profile connectors that can actually be installed side by side without any difficulty. So check this out, we can go here and then we can take another one, maybe we need, so yeah, so we need an 8 pin and then maybe we have another graphics card running in our system for PhysX, so we need some more some more uh, 6 pin or 8 pin connectors, so we'll go ahead and, oh no, that's a, okay, well, whatever, I can use this one. So this is a 4 plus 4. So we have now plugged our motherboard power connectors into each other. It doesn't have the usual excess around the outsides. So this gives us a ton of flexibility in terms of which rails we want to use for which connectors. So we've got 12 volt rail 1, 12 volt rail 2, 12 volt rail 3, 4. Very, very, very cool. 
Okay, so flex the most flexible modular interface pretty much possible, even if they change the graphics card interface, all Antec has to do is say, okay, you guys want to upgrade to the latest graphics card, we'll just release a slightly wider or slightly more different configuration of these, and you know you'll have somewhere to plug it into. Very handy. Okay, what else we have here on modular cables? I guess I should just cover what we have included. So this guy right here is a modular 3 SATA connector. Okay, we have how many of these? One, two, three of those. Okay, then we have a couple with uh, four pin peripheral connectors. One that has a, a floppy built onto the end and one that doesn't. And then finally, we have up to six PCI Express graphics card connectors available with this power supply. So each of these includes two six plus twos, two six plus twos, and then the one that I installed already before with two six plus twos. And how in the world have they done this? Hold on a minute. Oh, they've included a few, a couple different kinds of six plus twos. So these are designed to go to one graphics card. Interesting. Off a single cable. And then if you want to run two separate... For whatever reason, they've get, okay, they've given you options. They've given you the option to either run it this way or have them run side by side connected like this. So they've included both kinds of cables. There you go. So I, hold on a second, guys. So two things I missed, guys. One is that it uses all high performance Japanese caps that are capable of providing their full output even under very high temperatures, so unrealistic. Well, I guess I shouldn't say unrealistic. I mean, the inside of a computer could reach, you know, 40 degrees. I guess if you live somewhere really hot and then the inside of your computer is hotter, you know, 40 to 50 degrees. So either way, this will provide a thousand watts of output. And the other thing is that it is capable of delivering all 1000 watts from the 12 volt rails. So yes, no matter how graphics card heavy your system or other components that rely directly on the 12 volt rail, you will be able to power it with this power supply without running out of juice. So thank you for checking out my unboxing of what I think is basically the cream of the cream, Antec's finest power supply to date. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos.